Hey guys, welcome to Denny's. Today, I wanted to throw out a bunny build. Um, I got a lot of requests to make a bunny build on, from the last video that I made uh, on the loot farm that I had. So this is, uh, by popular demand, going to be my bunny build. Uh, more specifically, a non-ultimate bunny build. I am not using ultimate bunny. I want to farm that. I feel like there's going to be satisfaction in receiving it as it has a thousand more HP and I think something like a thousand more defense and uh, some specific mods, some transcendent mods you can use with it. So much more satisfying, I think, to farm it out to each their own. If you want to buy it, get a little early um, boost to the game and kind of improve your farming potentially, go for it. I don't I don't care either way. I just want to uh, or have the satisfaction of farming it, even though I know it's probably going to be mind numbing at some points. Um, but I'm down for the grind. So anyway, before I uh, ramble on too much, before we get into it, guys, if you could uh, leave a like, if this helped you in any way, that would be much appreciated. Comment, please, please, please comment any feedback you have for me. And then um, as far as subscribing, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been showing support uh, for my channel, and, and I seriously appreciate that. If you want to subscribe, do it. If I haven't earned it quite yet, don't do it. No big deal. Uh, maybe next time I'll earn it for you and, and just keep an eye out on my channel for the videos. And maybe uh, you can gain a bit more knowledge and get a get a bit more enjoyment out of the game by watching my videos. And uh, you can hit that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, let's get into it. We're going to go kind of quick. I don't want this video to <clears throat> go on super long. So I'm going to try to go fast. If you need to slow down my voice, you can always do that by the uh, playback button playback speed at the bottom and then also keep in mind guys uh you have youtube's tools at your utilization you can skip forward five seconds double tap the screen on on a uh, phone or ipad and, and tablet or you can obviously use the arrow keys on your keyboard to skip if you want to skip ahead to certain places in the video um but other than that guys let's get into it so first up first things first i am not using uh weapons plural i'm using one singular weapon these are just for proficiency uh these two here so let's talk about thunder cage uh what and why so i'm using uh about I'm using eight mods in it right now. I have used three crystallization catalysts for the Thunder Cage. Now, Thunder Cage comes with two. Anyway, let's get into it. So better concentration. Firearm critical hit damage is exponential. It is multiplicative. That's why I'm using it. It's OP. Any game, any RPG you play, critical hit damage drastically improves your damage. This is a necessity in my opinion. Rifling reinforcement, no brainer, just raw damage just raw damage it's simple as that um firearm attack raw damage action reaction on pc recoil doesn't matter on console maybe a little bit more maybe not who knows uh i think it's still worth it it's op you're not really worried about uh recoil when you're up close and you're doing as much damage as you can do with this so firearm critical hit rate obviously to get the crit to do more damage. <laughs> um, I have a 40% crit hit rate on this gun, mainly because I rolled it with weak point damage, toxic attack, firearm crit hit rate, and firearm crit hit damage. I do believe I have the god roll other than toxic attack. I believe that being firearm a ATK percentage is gonna be the god roll. Back to this. Consume magazines. We wanna increase reload time uh, because of this one. Concentration priority, our reload time goes down. Uh, firearm critical hit damage goes up 91% though. 91%. And keep in mind, guys, I still have five more to go, by the way, on this guy. Um, if you haven't used the Crystallization Catalyst, as many as me, drop the, I would say, drop these two, the Concentration Priority and Consume Magazines, and use Weak Point Insight, and then the rest of these guys. Um, and then the only one I would drop after that is probably, um, probably Weak Point Insight. If you've got nothing but uh one or two crystallization catalysts use these right here these ones are going to be your starters these five your damage is going to exponentially increase if you use these but yeah that's the mods for the thunder cage guys next up we're going to go over descendant mods um i will be keep in mind i will be making a video on where to get all this stuff so keep an eye out for my channel i'm going to show how to get obviously everybody should know how to get thunder cage i'm going to show it i'm going to show how to farm it i'm going to show how to get these important mods i'm going to show how to get the important uh components but onto the descendant mods here so we're going to start off with mp collector this is how you infinite sprint with bunny so this is basically uh when defeating an enemy instantly recover 12 percent of your max mp at a 17 percent chance so one in five enemies or thereabouts will give you 12 percent of your max mp back however check this out energy collection this plays on this directly so mp recovery plus 43.6 percent that means that instead of uh, instead of 12.2 percent that's going to increase by about 50% that 12% is. So that's going to be more like 18% of my max MP uh, or around 20% of my max MP um, because of this at being at 43.6%. 
right? So these two play hand in hand, and this is how you infinite sprint on Bunny. Now, keep in mind, guys, in yesterday's video where I do the farm, I did not have Bunny leveled up, therefore I was not using energy collection. I was not using energy collection. The reason I was able to infinite sprint and the reason you are able to infinite sprint in farms like that is because of how many mobs you're killing. So you don't need this. You do not need energy collection. You can just run this and you can run it even at a lower rank and you can still be fine as long as you're picking up the blue the blue boxes of MP uh, generators that drop on the ground. Um, increased defense, increased HP. No brainer, don't really need to explain these. Guys, shield sucks in this game unless I have a work in progress with uh, electric transition over here. I'm gonna go over that build in the future once I get everything worked out. Uh, but I think shield will might be good with bunny. Other than that though, let's not go off on a tangent. Uh, that is a must guys. These directly play off your components. These are gonna boost your survivability more than anything uh, in the entire game. So you must use these two. This is an absolute must in my opinion. Upgrade your shock punch upgrade your any sub module any sh any melee module that you want all the way up to 10 i threw a catalyst in it because i yoloed it i didn't know what it did so i said hey let's do it and it adds five it adds half of the uh capacity that you have currently ranked up to uh nimble fingers cooldown so that the v bunny's v is a 22 second cooldown instead of a 30 second cooldown making it so i only have a two second downtime yes you can make it so there is no downtime I don't I don't really care for that right now. I'm sure one day I'm going to do it because I'm just going to turn my brain off and just sprint through missions and not have to worry about uh, waiting to press it again. But right now, this is not that important for me. Uh, it's doing the damage and kind of making sure that I've got enough damage to do to farm really efficiently. Uh, electric specialist. Like I said, damage. There's nothing else to it. This plays with technician damage, damage, electric and technician are how you get most of your damage from your V uh, and then skill expansion. This is sleeper because not a lot of people, so this doesn't directly affect your DPS. However, in the late game, if it takes you more than one tick of your V to kill enemies, this is going to make it so you don't have to stop and run in circles around an enemy to get the kill because you can keep running and you'll hit them again with a second tick if your range is bigger. So you can see my range is 15 meters, right? My range is 15 meters with the V. That means it's probably going to hit somebody for three ticks before I get past them far enough away and that's definitely going to kill them in, in as far as farming goes so this is a sleeper mod that a lot of people are sleeping on it doesn't directly affect your dps however in my opinion it does uh in the late game because you're not one shotting and you actually need a bit more hits without having to stop and circle and change your direction and stuff uh, strong mentality to get her speed of light down a little bit honestly i don't think this is as, as worth it as a lot of is a lot of uh times that i or as a lot of people are saying i use this um I used this at first because I was like, hey, yeah, I can use, you know, her her uh, speed of light more. But if you use MP collector and energy collection, I feel like this may not be as worth. But nonetheless, it's here. I think it still helps. So uh, give it a go. We're going to go over the energy reactor real quick. And this is going to be a tingling singularity reactor. I farmed this in a mission, <clears throat> which I'll go over again. I'm going to I'm going to make a separate video for how to farm. Uh, for bunny all the farm spots that you're going to want to do and, and how to get each piece of equipment right now I just want to go over this build real quick So everybody knows what I'm using what it's doing why it's doing why I'm using it and uh, make it as, as quick as I can I, I don't want to prolong this uh, For as long as some of the other videos that I see on the on the on any descendants They get a little bit long So that's why I'm trying to go a little quick here so that I don't waste your guys's time. But anyway um, Tingling singularity reactor. We want a thunder cage mounting obviously if you're using thunder cage But if you're using a different gun if you like a different gun make sure you farm the roll with that gun and get that extra 160% skill power because that is a 60% increase directly on your skill damage. Um, as you can see, if I don't have a, I, I farm nothing but thunder cage mounting, but if I don't have the thunder cage mounting, you can see how, how, how much less damage all my abilities are doing. Uh, now, I mean, that's terrible. Look at that. That's eight, 17,000 increase on my V uh absolutely insane make sure you're matching that that's what i have there for that as far as the roles on this i think electric skill power boost ratio and range or duration uh, are going to be the best secondary roles on the reactor that's absolutely going to be the god rolls the one of uh, two of those three will pick your poison as far as range or skill duration but electric boost is a must uh components now this one's probably gonna take the most time. I'm gonna try to go quickly here guys i use the supernova set from the hard mode devourer boss however this is actually not BIS in my opinion. It's BIS for damage. Um, it's not BIS for survivability. The reason is because all of the stats are fixed, all the primary stats. Uh, Ox power has shield, sensor has shield, the memory has def, and the processor has def. These two are great, don't get me wrong. I would use these hands down. I would use these for the two set and then throw in a regular 
aux power and a regular sensor um, that have a, a better better roles like HP, uh, HP for their primary stat. Um, but I'm gonna go over the roles real quick. I have a handy dandy. <laughs> I have a handy dandy uh, Excel sheet here. I'm gonna link in the description, guys, if you want to take a look at it. This is gonna be the possible roles uh, that you can get on the um, on the um, external components. So aux power. My god roll, uh, ignore the highlights. This is me just messing around. Make, I'm kind of just seeing what, uh, how I think each will work. But my god roll is going to be on the aux power. The primary stat is going to be max HP. The first secondary roll is going to be max HP. That's a must. And then it's up to you after that. I'm going to do MP recovery out of combat or Kuiper drop rate, depending on what I'm doing. For the sensor, um, main stat, max HP. And then... Um, we're going to go with MP recovery in combat and max MP. This is a must. That's a god roll. There's nothing else that's better for Bunny. Keep that in mind. Take a quick sip real quick. Okay, now memory. God roll is going to be main stat, defense. First roll, defense, MP recov mod. Second roll. That is the god roll. Processor is going to be... Um, this one's up in the air. Defense for the main roll. Um... I would say hmm, this is a tough one, actually, because there's not really a lot. I would probably say shield recover modifier and max shield, maybe. But if honestly, if we're being honest, you don't really need that. It's kind of trash. I would go with equipment drop rate and item acquisition distance just to make farming easier. But your main stat, your main role you're going to want to do is defense. Um, and then... That's pretty much it for the Excel sheet. I'm going to show you guys what I'm rocking real quick. Uh, max HP d down, but not out duration. Absolutely terrible, but the max HP rolls dope. Max MP HP recovery modifier. MP recovery modifier, electric resistance, equipment drop rate and toxin resistance. Kind of useless. Um, I have this right here. This is this. I'm going to use this whenever I am taking off the set. Honestly, I'll probably equip this relatively soon once I start doing harder stuff um, to just kind of give me a bit tankier. Uh, to be honest and then um that's pretty much it that's pretty much it guys i don't really have a god roll of any processors other than this but that's that's the build that's what i'm doing that's what i'm using um and then keep an keep an eye out for a video going over um how to get each of these don't forget guys if you if you if you're if in, in, in anticipation for that video use the access info screen to find all of these um but i will be making a video to make it easier for you guys to find these i just wanted to shoot this video out because a lot of people were requesting it um but if you stayed this long i really appreciate it uh it's really rare so thank you so much um and i hope you guys are enjoying the grind enjoy the game and, and have a great rest of your day and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one um yeah good boy